Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Wolf Creek 23MK. It's a great floor plan, you can see right back here, you have your jackknife sofa, so great spot to sit and hang out. You'll notice you have these little armrests built in, of course they come out nice and easy too, but having the armrests does make them a lot more comfortable to sit at. You'll also see you have the end tables on both sides. When the armrest is removed, you also have a little bit of storage on both sides of the sofa, and you have electrical outlets. So if you need to plug in a cell phone or tablet, you can easily do that. Also, if you take a look underneath the sofa here, you will see there is good storage. That's one of the great things about a jackknife. Sure, it drops down into a bed, you know, and that way you can sleep a, a, a child or maybe a small adult if they want to curl up. But either way, the storage under there is great. An excellent spot to put some of your bigger items or some extra bedding. Windows all the way around the back here too, folks. You can see you have that huge rear picture window right there. Windows on both sides as well. Let a ton of natural light into this RV. Speaking of light, not quite so natural, but right up top here, this is pretty cool. You have this blue accent lighting all along the top of the slide. Just helps give it that little aesthetic piece, that little extra wow when uh, friends and family walk in and see your RV. In that slide itself is your U-shaped dinette. That way you can have friends and family over. Everyone can sit around, have a meal together, or possibly play a game there. And if they want to stay the night, this does drop down into a bed. It's bigger than the, uh, the jackknife. You can actually sleep two adults here. All you have to do is remove the legs here from the flanges in the floor as well as the flange in the table. This table then sits along these rails. Take the back cushions, throw them on top, and that is your sleeping space right there. You take a look on both sides, look at these massive drawers, folks. I love these. Uh, it's just fantastic. You have it on both sides. Huge storage. Again, you know, you have big storage underneath the jackknife and huge storage underneath the u dinette here. You also have a window there to let in natural light. And on the far wall, you have dual USB ports in case you need to plug in any electronics. If you want to watch TV, whether you're on the dinette or on the sofa, right here is where that TV will go. You'll see the corresponding connections right up top. One of these is your audio video jack, so what you do is you take the cables, plug them in there, plug them into the back of the TV, and that is pre-wired to your multimedia center right here, because this unit's also a DVD player, so throw a movie in and you can watch it. It is a radio and CD player as well, it controls the speakers in here as well as the speakers outside, and it is Bluetooth capable. Right in between that and the TV is your beautiful 30-inch fireplace. Not only does this look cool, folks, again, something to impress the friends and family, but more importantly, this is an excellent space heater. If you have shore power and you don't want to uh, run your propane down, not a problem. Fire this guy up, and it will do a good job of taking the chill off in this space. Down a little bit further there, you'll also notice you have some extra storage, and then the bottom is open as well. Across the way here is the kitchen. So you'll see your Norcold fridge freezer combo. Open that guy up for you there, plenty of space. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. And the thermostat is right here on the outside so it is quite easy to control. The kitchen countertop itself is a thermoformed countertop, so it's upgraded over like your standard T-mold. And it also allows you to undermount the sink, meaning you can have a flush sink top cover. When I take that off, you'll see the undermounted stainless steel bowl there. It is a larger bowl so that we can fit some pots and pans in there. And you also have a high-rise pull-out faucet, making washing those dishes that much easier. Over to the side, you, you can utilize this as prep space as well because you have a recessed cooktop cover with the glass cover. This just folds up and back. The second part's kind of spring-loaded, which is cool. You can see how that works. Just like that, folds up and out of the way. You do have this decorative backsplash here, but the glass kind of is like a double backsplash, which is nice. And that will reveal your three-burner cooktop there with the oven underneath. And over a little bit, right underneath the sink here, you see you have a small storage area there. You may be able to sneak in a trash can. And then right over here, we'll open this up for you. You see you have a big drawer here, as well as another large drawer right underneath that. If we take a look up here, of course, window to let in natural light. Electrical outlet there. You have to have a place to plug things in in the kitchen. A couple LED lights, which you have LED lights throughout the entire RV. Some good extra storage space right up top, great for a pantry. You'll also notice it has the fluted glass on here, kind of a nice extra design piece. A couple more lights there, and then the microwave right over to the side. As we step into the bathroom, it is a walk-through bath. So the door behind me here goes into the bedroom, the other one into the main living area. It is nice and spacious, as you can see, so plenty of space to move around here. 
Right over here in the corner is your sink. Notice you have a nice big sink there, which is great. Makes it easy to wash your hands, brush your teeth, everything else you need to do in here. Electrical outlet right there to plug in your hair dryer, curling irons, etc. And some storage there underneath. Up above, you also have a mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that. And just in case that's not enough, you have this over here as well. A beautiful storage area up top there. Some cubby holes there around the toilet, so it's utilizing all that space as well. And obviously, you have a ton of space around the foot flush lever toilet there, so you don't have to worry about being crammed in while you're using it. Right over here is the Neo Angle Shower. The doors are in a roller track. That way when you're done showering, all the water goes right from the door down into the shower pan. Unlike a swing door where you swing it open, it tends to be all over the floor. You also have some shelves and a hand wand here. I'll step in just to give you a general idea. I'm six foot. As you can see, I can kind of sneak just underneath the ceiling here. But if you're a little bit taller, maybe 6'2", six, 6'3", six, that skylight does give you a little extra head space so you can still shower in here fairly comfortably. Then right over to the side, I'll open this up for you. Take a look at that. Even more storage yet. So great linen closet right over here. The bedroom features a queen size bed and on both sides you have a small little nightstand there with an electrical outlet and dual USB ports. That way you can plug in any electronics or if you sleep with a CPAP machine you can put that on either side of the bed. Directly above that you have mirrored wardrobe space. You'll see the hanging rod going across and then you have additional storage connecting the two there right across the top of the bed with some LED lights in the headboard in case you want to do some reading. If watching TV is more your speed, you will see they have a mount right here for it, and those corresponding connections are right up top. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at the outside of the Grey Wolf 23MK. Starting off right up front here, you have the power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to connect and disconnect from the tow vehicle. Simply flip the switch here to raise and lower the tongue. You'll also see you have a light right up front in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. Directly behind that are two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover. All you have to do is undo the two thumb screws, lift up the door, and that will give you access down and in. And then right behind that, you'll see rails here for your battery. It is wide enough. If you want to put two batteries there, you can certainly do so. Coming up the front is the black diamond plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And if you take a look at the front end itself, you'll see it is the smooth aluminum rather than the rib. That way, it is a lot easier to clean. Plus, it looks nicer as well. If we take a look right down underneath, you'll see this one has a propane quick connect down there. So this makes it really simple and easy to grill outside. Just plug your grill in right there. That way you're feeding off your two 20 pound bottles instead of having to get the small green ones. Over here on the side, you'll see this unit is equipped with solar prep. That way you can buy portable panels, plug it in, and it will start to trickle charge your battery. That is a great option if you plan on doing a lot of boondocking. We'll open up the front storage here for you. And if you take a look inside, You'll see a nice big storage area and also uh, the storage over to the side underneath the bed. You can see that there as well. So you have a couple different access points to items that you put in there. Making our way back a little further here, you have a power awning. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. It does have an adjustable pitch on there. And you will also see you have an LED light strip underneath. That way you have light at night at just the flip of a button. You also have outside speakers. These are lit up as well. Kind of tough to tell right now because it's the middle of the day, but it certainly looks cool at night. And as I mentioned previously, these are connected to that multimedia center inside. However, that unit is Bluetooth capable. So if you want to sit out here underneath the power awning and use your smartphone or tablet to control it, you can certainly do that. If you take a look right here, you will notice you have your two electrical outlets. And then underneath that, you have your cable and satellite uh, outputs there. So if you want an outside TV, those are going to be your connections right there. And right here is your mount. And again, that is directly underneath your awning. The steps to get into the Wolf, uh, the uh, Gray Wolf here are quite cool. They use the Moride step system. So if you're not familiar with it, it's probably one of the best step systems that are out right now. You know, if you're sick of stepping on those steps, it just kind of feels like the ground's going to give out underneath. They you know they're really wobbly. The more ride step is fantastic. As you can see here, I mean, these don't move, folks. There is no give. Plus, with the foldable grab handle right here and the grip strip that's on it, it ensures you will have safe entry and exit from the RV. Uh, it's also aluminum steps there, so that way those won't rust out on you. They'll stay looking nice for the life of the RV. 
Coming around to the back, you have the cargo tray right back here. This is awesome. Simply pull the pins out, this guy drops down. You can put you know, coolers on there, you can put totes, wood, whatever you wanna put on there. It's a great extra carrying system. Plus, you'll also notice your spare tires connected to it as well. So hopefully you never have to use this, but in the event that you do, it is really easy to access. Right up top above the beautiful rear picture window, you will see backup camera prep. If you want a backup camera, having the prep makes it a lot easier to install, meaning it will save you money on labor. So we take a look at the off door side, you'll see right here is your outside shower that does have both hot and cold water access. And right next door to that is your black tank flush. This makes it super easy to wash out your black tank, folks. Instead of having to stick a hose down your toilet, all you have to do is hook the hose up right here. That black tank has sprayers built into it and it will wash it out for you. Right underneath that outside shower, you will see your water connections, of course. Your fresh water will go there to fill your fresh tank, and then city water connection is right next door. Directly underneath that is your 30 amp detachable power cord. You'll also see your terminations right here with both your black and gray tank valves. And lastly, your cable inlet is right up here. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Gray Wolf 23 MK. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.